For many years, I worked for the British Federation of Music Festivals as an adjudicator. In fact, when I started adjudicating, I was the youngest adjudicator on their panel. And they had a particular anniversary that happened in my first few years. And I was invited to go meet the Queen to represent the Federation alongside a number of other people. So that was an interesting experience to go meet the Queen. And I'll never forget the encounter actually we had to stand in a row and the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh came past and spoke to each of us in turn and we had to prepare a little sentence for the Queen so I remember my prepared sentence was I'm here because I'm the youngest adjudicator on the panel and I remember the Queen looked at me and said "Ooh." and moved on to the next person. So that's my encounter with a queen that came through adjudicating. Well, one might think that that was a, a rich experience in itself, but of course, adjudicating music festivals was what it was all about. And in the UK, there are lots of amateur music festivals up and down the country. And I went to many of these over a number of decades. Some of them are just local affairs with a few people playing and singing and terrific stuff. Some of them are actually much bigger affairs, with a few of them having a kind of international pull. So I can remember, for example, going to the Sligo International Choral Festival and sitting on a panel of adjudicators listening to some of the most amazing choirs from all around the world. I went to a number of other Irish music festivals. They were always an interesting kind of category, really. I remember going to one where we worked all day and then we were taken to a pub and this wonderful Irish fella put a bottle of whiskey in front of me and said, drink that. And his idea was that we'd work through a bottle of whiskey and then he'd take me back to a hotel for about an hour's sleep before we started again. So there were kind of particular stamina challenges of those kinds. I remember going on to some of the islands like Guernsey, for example, in the Channel Islands, and this amazing festival where we worked very hard, I have to say, for about 10 days and listened to 6,000 musicians perform, which was 10% of the population of the island. Absolutely amazing stuff. And I've heard incredibly wonderful, moving performances adjudicating music festivals. And I've also heard some pretty awful things, if I'm quite honest, where nobody would have got an opportunity to stand on a stage and perform had it not been for that festival. In which case, of course, one has to be amazingly diplomatic because as the adjudicator, you have to stand on the stage at the end of a class and offer feedback in front of the audience. Well, when it's great, that's easy, really. You can tell them how wonderful it is and award marks. When something's absolutely terrible, you've got to think of very diplomatic ways of putting things. I remember going to one festival where this dear old lady sang in about five or six different classes. And the first time she sang, it was truly remarkable for all the wrong reasons. Not a single note in tune, all over the place with her memory, blaming the pianist every time something went wrong. And it was quite difficult to know just what to say to her, really. So I remember congratulating her on the outfit on one particular occasion to say how well it fitted the occasion and talking about her stage presence, but it got increasingly difficult. So one needed musical skills to deal with these things and diplomatic skills as well. I remember going to Scotland on one occasion and a grandma in the audience, uh, her granddaughter had sung in this class, I think it was under 10s, and her granddaughter didn't win the class and grandma didn't like this at all. So she came at me shouting and screaming and brandishing her umbrella. So, you know, one is even worried for one's own personal safety on occasions. But the great thing, all these strange stories aside, is that the whole opportunity for people to perform at these music festivals is, is a great thing, really. Really. And it was a great privilege to be part of that as a member of the adjudicator community.